Hey, welcome back. I was just doing my exercises. I hope you had a chance to practice, right? Remember, swing the arms up, relax them, let them fall to your side. So today, I hope that you have your violin ready to go, meaning that it's tuned either by you or a professional who knows what he or she is doing, okay? So just like we did before without the instrument, get ready, okay? Remember we had our hand here? We're really focusing on the C shape, right? Having it relaxed, not right in front of you, and not out to the side, okay? So now it's time to get your violin. If you have a shoulder rest, hopefully it is the correct size according to what size instrument you have. The larger size, the wider side, is going to go this side of the instrument, okay? You carefully put that there, and then you carefully pull. Try not to drag it the whole way. And usually, it's somewhere straight across. It's a little bit different for everyone, depending on your body and also the shape of the shoulder rest in an instrument, okay? So again, you might wanna have someone help fit it properly to you, okay? Once that's there, or you have a sponge secured by rubber bands, okay? So if you're lucky enough to have someone help you, now is the time to ask him or her to come into the room. If not, try to kind of memorize in your body where your hand is and then carefully place the violin on your shoulder, allowing your hand shape and arm shape to be just how it was without the instrument, okay? So make sure that your wrist and hand and arm shape are about the same as they were when you did not have the instrument up yet, okay? And you have relaxed thumb with the C shape, okay? Now, I'm gonna allow you to bring it up towards this shoulder Okay, like so, and you can even hold on to the shoulder for now. Okay, to so take the violin down off the shoulder into what we call rest position, you simply grab it securely by the neck, okay? So you grab the neck lightly but firmly with the fingers, take it down around underneath your right arm, and you can rest your right arm roughly around on the tailpiece not directly on the bridge here. And then you can even take your wrist and try to loop it in the C-bout, this rounded area, to help try to secure it. So this is rest position. So let's repeat the process a few times. So to bring the violin back up on the shoulder, take our violin hand, wrap it around the neck, bring it out, flip it, and up, okay? Down, out, and around, underneath the arm. Out, flip, up, under the chin. Okay? So now, let your left hand rest on the spout, right? We're going to put it further around, keeping the C shape, like so. So now let's take our pinky of the left hand, bring it around, keeping the C shape in the left hand, to our lowest string, our G string, okay? Make sure it can reach it. So now you're gonna take the pinky, have the kind of fleshy part of the pinky, the, the pinky, pull and release the string. We call it plucking or pizzicato. So just try to pluck the G. So watch, one, two, Three, four, ready? One, two, your turn. One, two, three, four, okay? So let's try to pluck now the G string eight times in a row, ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C shape, left hand, relaxed. Eight times, one, two, Ready, pluck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go on the D string eight times. Ready? One, two, ready, pluck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. 
Now let's do the G string, four plucks, followed by the D string, four more. So listen, one, two, three, four. Change, one, two, three, four. I'll do it again. G, 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 D, 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 D. Excellent. So now let's do the exercise that we had done with the stomping now on the violin. So just listen first time. So instead of do, we're gonna have G. This is now your do. And sol is now the D string. Right, so we have do. And sol, remember? So listen, it's gonna be G, G, D, D, G, G, D. Stop, right? G, G, D, D, G, D, G, stop. Let's try it together. Ready? One, two, ready, pluck. G, G, D, D, G, G, D, stop. G, G, D, D, G, D, G, stop. Isn't that so cool now that we can actually play the song that we were singing on the violin? I just think it's really neat. Great, so now you remember how to put the violin back in rest position. Take your left hand, make sure it's firm, firmly around the neck. Take it down slowly out and underneath the right arm. Put this hand down if you feel like it. I just feel really great that you learned how to play your first song today on the violin. So I hope you understood and liked learning everything we did today in the exercises. As always, please go back and rewatch the video and practice at home everything we did today. And remember to like our page and to subscribe to our channel. Yay, great job. See you next time.